I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the Broad and Taylor Professional Knife Sharpener. It's a beautiful tool, ruggedly constructed, of almost two pounds of solid stainless steel. And as you'll see, it does a wonderful job of sharpening all types of metal knives. I'll start by explaining a little bit about the sharpening technology. It doesn't use any abrasives. The sharpening is based on two tungsten carbide sharpeners mounted on this patented spring-loaded system. If you take a closer look at these tungsten carbide sharpeners, you can see there's a small rectangle, precision ground. One side on the inside of the sharpener is ground to a sharp edge, and this outside is beveled so that the corner is smooth. I've got a little demonstration here with some foam. It takes a very, very sharp knife to cut foam, and you can see that our knife at this point is very sharp, cuts right through that foam. Now, if I take this case-hardened rod, very hard on the outside, and I can just quickly dull the front of this knife just by pressing down. What I'm really doing there is what happens on a knife gets dull. I'm just rolling the edge over. <clears throat> now, if I just lay it on this foam and push through, you can see that the front side doesn't cut. It still cuts in when it gets to the back, where I didn't dull the knife. Now, in order to sharpen this knife, I really don't need to take off any metal. What I need to do is just realign that blade, which I can do just by coming through these sharpeners with the tip up just six or eight times just to straighten that blade back out. And this is the type of operation that's really hard for folks to do at home, but is the best way to keep your knife sharp so that you're using a sharp knife every day and you don't actually need to grind metal away to sharpen it after it gets really dull. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of this polishing here. Again, just letting the weight of the knife run back and forth at the bottom of that V and burnishing right on the edge. And that's really all that's required to get this knife sharp again. And now if I just lay it on the foam, you see it just cuts right through on the back and also the front is just really sharp. Another great feature of the Broad and Taylor sharpener is how easy it is to sharpen serrated knives. This is a difficult task and most people at home never have the ability to sharpen these knives at all. Now, as you may know, the great majority of serrated knives are beveled only on one side, almost always on the right, and the left side of the blade is flat. So you never want to put this through any type of a, a standard pull-through sharpener because you can end up grinding away metal on this side. Um, and uh, you need, of course, to be able to, to sharpen all along the edge. Now, there are some sharpeners that claim to do serrated knives, and generally what they do is just grind the tips off of these serrations, which is really not the best thing to do. It's very easy in the Broad and Taylor sharpener to sharpen the whole side. All you do is pull the knife over to the right in this manner and just pull it straight through. And if you can see that sharpener, the back corner, you can see that bar wiggling as it goes along. It's actually going in and out of each one of the curved scallops on the edge of the knife. So you're not only uh, honing and sharpening the tip here, but if you can see this shiny line, it's actually going in along here and you're getting the whole edge sharp. End up really with a super sharp serrated knife. Let me talk for just a minute about blade angles. As you can see, when I press these bars down on their springs, the angle between those two sharpening surfaces there actually changes. When we're at the top in this position, we're actually at a 12 degree angle measured from the center line and we go all the way to the bottom, that's a 20 degree angle. So when you are cutting a bevel on a knife, it's actually possible to, for a knife that you want to say a really delicate filleting knife, to start here, just press down just barely and pull through, and you'll be cutting a 12 degree bevel. If you wanted to make a more rough and tough chopping knife, if you were to push all the way down and pull through, then you would be cutting here at 20 degrees. Now for most people, just a moderate pressure somewhere in the middle here, you know, getting about uh, 15, say around 15 to 16, 17 degrees. Without much thought, you can just basically just put down, push down gently and pull through. But it is possible with a little bit more control and thought to be able to vary the, the, the uh, angle between 12 and 20 degrees. So again, just a quick review of the three different functions for an extremely dull knife, uh, which you would do generally quite rarely. Uh, but very quickly is to put tip down and pull through.
for the coarse sharpening. Tip up is the honing where you're not taking off any metal and this is what you would want to do every day. And the thing that is great for people to know is, is if you even buy a brand new knife, the best way to maintain it is to keep that blade aligned when it starts to curl over. You can just put it in and keep the blade straight by honing. And then finally, the polishing operation where uh, certainly it's optional, but if you're looking for the, the sharpest knife, just by burnishing that edge, you can get it razor sharp. Additionally, if you do have a left-handed, sometimes called Japanese style blade left-handed that has a bevel only on the left side, uh, that is not what this blade is, but I can show you, you can basically pull it to the left and pull it straight through, and as you can see, I'm only honing the blade on the left side and not touching the right. So that's what you want to do if you had a knife which was flat along the right side but beveled only on the left. The Broad and Taylor sharpener is really the perfect union of form and function. People enjoy keeping it out on the counter where it's easy to use and by maintaining their knives regularly to keep them nice and sharp you actually extend the life of the blade as well as being able to have the pleasure of using a sharp knife every day.